Hey guys, what's up? Hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, I am back at Christ University Lawasa campus and I am here to do something that I forgot to do last time on camera, which is talk to the current students and get to understand their honest experience. I will try finding people from all different courses and backgrounds and understanding what all is it that they do like here, what they don't like, how's their routine, what is their monthly budget spent, each and everything I will try to cover. But before I get started, please guys understand one thing. It is very important to understand the importance of perspective, which means that if something is a disadvantage to something might not be a disadvantage to you. And if there are a couple of things that somebody really likes, might not be something that you must also like. So please keep that in mind. And without any further ado, let's get started. Come, let's go. Hey guys. Uh, I'm making a video on honest student experience. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Yeah, not at all. Good. Sure? sure. All right. So, which course are you people doing? So, we both are from BSc DS. And, 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 and what about you? We two are from BSc DS. Oh, so, BSc Data Science and Economics. By the way, I've gotten so many queries about the same. Can you tell me in reality how is the course? Like for data science specifically, honestly, I'll tell my experience. I was going somewhere outside, but then in India, I only found this course over here. So, you know, it's quite unique in the way it's built and overall it's fun. It's chill, you know, okay. the fact. When you say unique, what is it so unique about so it? Data science itself is a very new field, right? right? So in India, there aren't many colleges which offer the same. And, you know, in that regard, such courses in such depth and they start from the base and then they build it up. So, you know, okay. even if you're out of place or you aren't coming from a computer science background, it's good enough for you, you know. Okay. And can you mention like specific things that makes it different? Uh, so the curriculum, you know, it keeps on uh, adapting or changing every year. So what our seniors studied, it's not necessarily what we study. Uh, the curriculum uh, gets on updated every year. So we sub uh, whatever is in the domain or in the market, we get to study that. And okay. you know, you know, irrelevant subjects are there in your curriculum, right? So we have French right now and we are trying to get it removed for our juniors so that, you know, these guys okay. listen. Yeah. Okay, great. And how is it? Yeah. Following up on his, uh, what he said, the, it, uh, it gets updated based on the feedback from our seniors, uh, industry experts, etc. Okay. And how is it, this BSc Data Science different from Economic Analytics? about econometrics, public policy, we study, money banking, finance, we study and uh, their real life examples and their applications we study through analytics. So talking about analytics, I think uh, this is the only university which is uh, offering economics with analytics. So we are studying Python, R, Orange tool, SQL, etc. And teachers say that economics along with analytics is way better than just data science. Oh. Because, uh, you know, economics people are preferred more than them. And I think they them. also agree upon this, huh. right? They should agree. Yeah. Uh, the space of it now, but yeah. Hot debate, but thank you so much guys. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye bye. Okay guys, so I found a big group that's chilling because they've got a free hour. Guys, say hi to the camera. Hi. So half of them are from MSc in Economics Analytics and half of them are from MSc in Data Science. Today I will be asking them, I mean, unique things about their course. So what is it? The unique thing about the course, it's really great. One, you'll enjoy it and uh, me being in the first year and I'm all the way from, ba from Bangalore. So it's really great and I'm having a great experience uh, pursuing my course. So yeah, it's really awesome. And why did you choose MSc in Economics and Analytics? <laughs> Firstly, uh, other colleges are not providing MSc in Eco and Analytics. And to add to that, it also stood 5th and 6th. In rankings? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. Tell me, what is it that you don't like? Be honest. So basic thing is uh, we will be completely hectic with our CI works and also we have to look through the, all the events and all. So according to manage everything, somewhat we will get hectic. So okay. that's only the one thing. It's hectic and what about CIs guys? Uh, basically CIs, every, uh, I think by the end of this month we will start our CIs and we have to uh, present or whatever it is like presentations or tests it goes on continuously every day today tomorrow day after tomorrow it's continuous okay so, so it's super super hectic right okay great um tell me how is the faculty 
Coming to faculty, I could say that faculties are very approachable. Uh, so compared to the other campuses and the other colleges, I've never seen any camp, uh, any faculty who's been working like you know more than like the dedicated their time of uh, hours of work. So they, it's very approachable, and since being the college is the only entity over here, so you find faculties and teachers enjoying or chilling after the their time, and then you know it's more like you don't have a bond of like the proper teacher and a student. You'll actually have a a better version of themselves uh, post their work times, and yeah, you'll have a great experience with them. So they really get involved in the yeah, kids' they get, life, they get and, and they're, they're always there helping us with the research things, and also to add on. Uh, to the course thing, uh, it's that you have much about research that every student has to be publishing a research paper, which is uh, which adds a very more value to your course as well as to your MSc degree. It's just that you don't only pursue out with a, just a certificate and get into work life. It's that you work with a certificate, internship certificates, and your uh, Scopus Index certificate. Like you have published and you have done something towards the research so that's wow. a great thing actually thank you thank you guys pretty high level words that he's used but uh, thank you so much guys for your time you guys can enjoy your break and then get back to your classes with the hectic routine see you guys bye bye bye, bye. bye. Uh, hey guys i'm kavach i'm basically making a college experience video do you mind if i ask you a couple of questions yeah, sure. 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 Yeah, sure great which course are you people doing bcom financial analysis okay bcom it's it's a new course right yeah, yeah. yeah. So why did you people choose this course? Uh, so for me, actually, the course apart from the main BCom, we have portfolio management, algorithmic trading, and then portfolio management and analytical part as well. So this is a major like turn on for me for the BCom financial. Analysis. Lastly, we have this R programming also in it. R programming, Tableau, Orange, and then we have Python in it. So we get all analytical part. And how do you merge it with like the traditional BCom course, like accountancy, finance? So uh, we have the uh, traditional things as well, but apart from that, we uh, in our curriculum we have the new trends. So as you mentioned, Tableau, Orange, and that all. So our curriculum is changing uh, with the recent trends in the market. So we are hopping onto the new trends every time there's a new thing in the market as well. But are you people not scared that whatever you're learning might not even be valid? Like. Three years down the line. Uh, actually, the problem is like uh, actually this is the best part I guess uh, that we have a circulum change. Like if what our seniors have done, we won't be doing that. Same. Okay, so if any new yeah. changes coming that you're doing. So okay, guys, I have a very good question for all you people. Everybody says, and I, even I know it for a fact, that Christianity is super strict. So what do you have to people? So what you have to say about it? So definitely, Christ University is very strict, but it, uh, anyways, helps us to you know get ready for our corporate world. We oh, oh this is a very fancy answer that she's giving. No, no, I don't want that. That guys, tell me, what are the different rules and regulations? Fines. If we have to pay fine, if we are late, we have to pay fine. If we are late, we yeah. have ID cards. Yeah. And dress code. Uh, using your phones. Using okay, phones. using your phones, ID cards, yeah. dress code. Yeah. Like, yeah. you, yeah. This is our yeah. Mangal school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to come to the college, you need this. Right. Even though you can't even roam around without your. Okay, own. now you mentioned fines. So, what is the range of these fines? I paid thousand for using phones. Thousand to twenty-five thousand. Great. And what's the maximum amount of fines somebody has paid here? Fifteen thousand. You've paid fifteen thousand. Two for the two <laughs> for breaking the dress code, one for breaking the hostel. Which people? Hostel rules. Okay. Luckily, yeah. I have paid zero fines till now. Oh, wow, great. <laughs> Great guys, thank you so much for this conversation and I'll see you super soon again. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Guys, I finally found the BBN Business Analytics Group. It was a tough find but I found them in the cafeteria chilling. Guys, I am not going to ask you people of how your course is because I know it's a good course. The maximum strength here is of BBA in Business Analytics. But tell me, are you people first years or second years? We are first years. All of you? Yeah. And which all places are you from? I'm from Jaipur, Rajasthan. I'm from Dev Bhumi, Uttarakhand. I'm from Agra, Uttar Pradesh. I'm from Madhya Pradesh. Same, I'm also from Madhya Pradesh. Wait, is diversity my luck or is actually the case even in the class? Like, are people from all different backgrounds? People are from different backgrounds in each and every class. Great, great. Uh, guys, you've I think been here for six months now. Yeah. Uh, how has your experience been? Yeah, I should say it's been like a roller coaster. At first, when I came, being from a city life, so at first I didn't like anything here, the atmosphere. But then I started uh, involving myself in the college life only, taking part in the committees and the events that are happening. So it was fun. Okay. It has been a great. Talking about like events, how is the usual routine of students here? 
So the usual routine starts by a college at first. Uh, some people have NCC and some people. No wait. What time does the college start? The college starts at eight thirty. It goes on till four thirty. And after that, some people have NCC. Some people are into sports. So they participate in sports and all. Okay. So they keep. And what are the kind of other extracurricular activities that are there? I like to chill and sleep. So okay. I do that. Uh, there are many many activities like there are some uh, fests also there also uh, various types of sports are also there like football badminton and okay so there is sports and extracurriculars like dance theater music great anything else guys that you would like to tell the course is really good but uh, as it is malas it's not been a long time since the course has started so it's quite new but it's trending so it's fine okay great i like this place too Okay. We have started liking the serenity of this place actually. All right, so you've fallen in love with Lavasa yeah. now. Initially it was a tough thing. Yeah. Right. Got it. Thank you so much guys. Thanks a lot for your time. Have a great Thank day. Bye-bye. So guys, I'm not going to ask you about your course, but I want to know about things other than your course. Firstly, tell me how is the weather in Lavasa city? Weather in Lavasa is so unpredictable. Like you can see the all weathers in a one day. Or like this hot, hot, windy, and all of this thing. And but there's a like proper rainy season. Like for three to four months, you'll see all the rain. But yeah, our college gives us the holiday for that season. Okay. That's internship like or monsoon holiday. Umbrella is also very expensive. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, what about the student accommodations? How is it like? Well, uh, if you see, there are two student accommodations. One is uh, the college provides, that's the hostel, and the other is the private one, where people take their own brokers and they make their own deals. Okay, and hostels. By the way, guys, I have made a dedicated video on the hostels of Christ University Lavasa campus. So please make sure you go do that. I know there are upgradations to that; they bought more buildings. Yeah. But yeah, that is that is what you guys can have a look at. Along with that, coming to one of the things that I get a lot of queries about. is what is the city life like you know what do you do other than college see to be honest there's nothing much to do in lavasa but then you have to find options everywhere like we go to csb in port of ino or sunset points there are a lot of opportunities that you can avail this is the lake side the promenade is the most beautiful place so you can sit by the lake side or go to the market or chill there with but your friends definitely you cannot experience city life here usually on weekends people make groups and they go for trekking Trekking and and on weekends you can even go to Pune, right? Yeah, because our college provides a Sunday bus service every weekend, so we can go to Pune and chill there and come back. So it's like it takes around one and a half to two hours to, for us to go there, and the college takes us. And, takes and there us. are some good cafes in Pirangot also by the lakeside, so you can go wherever. But uh, if you ask people normally, prefer to stay here because the week is very exhausting. The one Express. thing you can go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a lot of CIAs. You so. get CIAs and assignments. Yeah, I think weekends so you just would want to sleep, sleep and, and relax. Yeah. There is not. Minard is our friend. That's all. Okay. <laughs> Or beds. Okay. okay. Yeah. But like, what do you would have to say to people who will say that hey, we'll really get bored here and there's not much to do. You will not get time to be bored. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay and what's the new thing that I've heard that they've opened the campus yeah, for 20 The campus is basically now open for 24 hours and they provide us bus service 24 hours every hour to uh, take us back home so the university is open basically for studying for sometimes people come for just chilling and playing games but after 11 it's not allowed to play we just have to study so Okay so after 11 you are allowed to be on the campus yeah, whether it's be in the classroom yeah, yeah. and bus will drop you back to your hostel or yeah, room yeah, yeah. Are there every one. So they keep roaming around in the city yeah, and yeah, yeah. really they, they, for yeah, everybody. Yeah, for yeah. Every. but to avail for that one, uh, they circulate a uh, Google form on like like 5:30, and you have to fill the form. And if you are living in private accommodation, you don't feel need to fill. Yeah, so hostel people have yeah. to inform hostel them in private. Okay, yeah, right. For like letting the hospital people know that you're not going to be there. Yeah. Guys, last question that I have, and it, trust me, I, I mean I always say it, I get a lot of queries, but this one is genuine doubt that I get from so many people. What is the ideal monthly budget or money that you spend being in like Kris and Lavasa? Okay, so I'm a first year and I live in Kris accommodation, so I don't need to pay rent. So I usually spend like ten to fifteen thousand on food and Pune, and I guess you can do it under ten to fifteen if you are a first year. And if you are living in private accommodation, you can expect like fifteen or. around 15 rent uh, you can add it to 15000 so it's around 30 got it 30, even you've paid to the christ uh, thing yeah. for the hostel yeah. right okay this is good guys thank you so much for your time and thank you for you know having this conversation with me i'll see you all later take care bye bye thank you
Guys, I am inside the management block and I have finally gotten hold of the MBA students of Christ University Lavasa campus. I am naturally going to ask them the most frequently asked questions. Guys, can somebody explain me what is the admission procedure of getting into Christ University Lavasa campus? Yeah, so firstly, you have to crack competitive exam by which you get qualified for the group discussion round and then you have a micro presentation followed by your personal interview. All right. And what are the different kind of specializations uh, in MBA here? Uh, so Christ University offers four different kinds of uh, specializations. So starting off with marketing, finance, uh, human resources, and we had our first pilot batch of business analytics from this year as well. Oh wow, MBA in business analytics. Yeah. Anybody doing that course here? Yes, I am. Doing You're doing. Uh, so how has your experience been? Yeah, the experience is uh, new and exciting also. So you got to learn a lot more about what analytics all about and the business aspect of it and how business is integrated into analytics and stuff. Right, great. Uh, guys, last question. I mean, whenever we talk about MBA, it's always about ROIs, placements. So, what has been your experience so far? Has anybody gotten placed here? Yes, um, I have got placed uh, in ICSI Lombard. Great, and what's your role? Uh, I am assistant manager for financial institution groups. And uh, which location is it? Uh, Chandigarh. Oh wow, Chandigarh. Where are you from? I'm from Himachal. Oh nice. Do you mind if I ask you what's your package? It's uh, 9.5 LPA. Oh wow, 9.5 LPA is good, yeah. Great guys, thank you so much for your time and uh, I'll catch you all super soon again. Thanks a lot guys, bye-bye. Okay guys, so that's been the whole conversation. I don't even know how long this video is going to be but I tried to capture people from all different courses and departments getting to understand their experience about the same. Uh, I'll try editing it and keeping it as short as possible. At the same time if you like this do not forget to smash the like button. Comment below if you have any doubts, questions, queries. I would surely love to help you with that. At the same time do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Take care guys. Bye bye.